Galleria Mall Condos VIP launch by Yossi Kaplan. Hello friends, today we're going to talk about Galleria Mall Condos, uh, located at the corner of Dufferin and DuPont, taking a whole entire blog, Galleria Mall Condos or Galleria on the Park, and it's uh, more officially known, uh, is a multi-structure project by Free Development in Elad, Canada. Uh, probably, I think, eight residential buildings, a total of about a dozen structures on this land. Let's dive in and see what the investment opportunity here and why it's so important that I'm actually giving it an entire video. Okay, before we start with introduction, Yossi Kaplan here, Toronto Realtor. Uh, Galleria Mall was recently uh, mentioned in one of my posts and videos called Toronto's Three Best Investor Condo Project. Okay, uh, the Worldwide Tridel, Galleria on the Park, and Crosstown Condos. All right, uh, twitter.com slash Yossi Kaplan, where you will find all the assignments, condos for sale. For example, here we have 488 University Avenue, assignment is 649.5. That's just under 1,200 a foot, which is phenomenal price. Consider 41 University is at uh, 1,600 a foot, BIG King West, 1,600 a foot, 543 Richmond, 1,400 a foot, and you know, nothing under 14 right now. So this is $200 a foot less, about 12, 15% less than what you get. Basically, uh, same unit at a different building, uh, new one, same uh, quality. Uh, you're looking at 750 to $800,000 for this 500 and about 550 square feet. Okay, Yossi, uh, YouTube.com slash Yossi Kaplan. This is the YouTube channel. Thank you everyone for posting, commenting, even the trolls. You're doing a great job helping get the message across. Really, really happy with how this channel is coming along. Posting more and more videos every day. Uh, we also have a nice listing. Uh, this is a resale listing at 36 Lisgar. Go to yossi.searchrealty.co, put Toronto, put 36 Lisgar. 489, uh, currently the unit uh, cheaper than us had an offer on it. We'll see if it goes for or not. That means we will be the next cheapest unit in the building at 489, two bedroom and estimated income rental of 26,400 a year on this unit. Very, very good deal. You want more info, go here. I'll leave the link below or just give me a shout and I'll give you the info. Okay, 488 University, as I showed you, that's the flyer. Uh, 618, I assure you, that's the flyer. I got some repeats here. And let's walk into Galleria Mall, Galleria on the Park by Free Development, Airline Canada. So why is this important? Um, let's go to the map. You know, I love maps. I love Google Maps. Let's check we're doing great here. Yeah, we are. Okay, and the reason I'm showing you this is because the location is very interesting. So this is a pocket of Toronto that was kind of untouched in for many, many years. No one really touched it. And then Freed came uh, a couple of years ago and bought this entire land, this entire block. There's Dufferin, there's DuPont, there's Emerson, and there's Lapin Avenue. This is where the project is happening. I'm gonna zoom out so you see where you are. Uh, so if you look just below you, that's Bloordale with the uh, the other mall, with the Dufferin Mall, where um, you know, Walmart is, and that's Dufferin Grove Park, a beautiful park for families. And we're just almost at junction, so this area is kind of up and coming. Now you see what happens in cities. Uh, the core starts to operate, and then the price go up in the core, and then it starts spreading out from the core. So that's what you're seeing now. You know, when I was talking about King West uh, back in two, early 2000s, people thought I was crazy because there were um, transient people on the streets, homeless people on the streets, you park your car, you get broken into it. Hard to believe it. That was King West just 10 years ago. Maybe even 15 now. Uh, but I made my first uh, purchase, my first time I lived in King West was already uh, early 2000s, maybe 2003 or four. I already lived here. Uh, people told me I was crazy and it wasn't that fancy as it is now, of course. It was just one little condo building, but I knew what's coming up. So this is another opportunity for you to beat that rush and to really grab yourself um, a property where it's considered up and coming but really if you look at the plans and you see what's going on you realize that you know this is this is what it is so the the, the investors you know they can always go and find those investments find those places about to be up and coming as we call them and they know before now it's easy for us because we just look at the plans and we look at what's coming up and we say, you know, this is going to be the next area. But there's a psychological barrier for people to understand how come like this render 
with a bunch of buildings on it suddenly becomes a multi-million dollar development, multi-billion dollar development in our case because there's so many units and buildings. And as I said, the well um, Crosstown and Galleria on the Park, Galleria Mall, are the three master plan communities that right now are selling and the well is well under construction by the way because Tridel waits for nobody they know what they're doing and that's where it's at so if you are a first time investor or you're looking for a, a significant investment which is solid for years to come I would urge you to give me a call and together we can look at this project and see what here within the hundreds of units about to be sold well, more than hundreds actually probably in the thousands um, which which property here could be yours and how you utilize uh, your financial ability, your cash, your savings, your mortgage ability to the best, to get the best investment possible for you. Now, some people are first time investors and they kind of start in the five and six hundreds, which is totally fine. And some people are experienced investors, they buy a bunch of units at a time or they buy some, some people like to buy large units, some people like to buy small units, you know, all kinds. One second here. All right, good. Happy to help the neighbors. Um, so, what I'm saying is, you have to have some kind of vision. If you don't have vision, you know you're not going to work in real estate. If you only see like problems, that's not for you. Go out of here. Go to the Disney Channel. But if you are an investor, if you're curious about Toronto, if you believe in Toronto, if you know this is the city of the future, and you understand we are living in the best city in the world, I'm not kidding you, the best city in the world right now, then consider Gallery of Mall. Okay? Uh, I'm going to zoom one more time out here and show you where you are. So you're basically straight up from Toronto's west, downtown west end, if you like, you know, Dufferin all the way up, takes you right here. Now this is an area that is known for houses, for uh, mostly kind of Portuguese area, maybe Italian, you know, that's like traditionally where people came in the last century, in the 40s, 50s, 60s, maybe even before. But now, you know, all Toronto is, is Toronto by itself is one large portion. It's like everything is mixed up. People coming from all over the place to Toronto. It's probably 200,000 people coming every year to Toronto. We're going to grow. The city is going to grow and grow and grow. It's not going to stop. So, you know, if, if you haven't bought downtown, that's totally fine because so many people need places to live, more jobs, more places to be, more places to eat, more places to spend. They're going to have families. You know, life keeps going. You need to plug yourself into that and, and find your groove there. I'm going to take a quick break. And All right, Gallery and Mall Condos, here we are. So 1245 DuPont Street, what used to be maybe the back of Toronto, now it's really the center. Just zoom out and understand that you are in the center of everything. Anything, I've, I've said that before, but anything between the Humber, the Humber on the left and the Dawn on the right, between the water and the 401 is fair game. Um, I used to say I don't go north of Dundas, I used to say I don't go north of Bloor. Now I say, you know, I stick to the 401. And the reason is, is because Toronto is growing by leaps and bounds. So many people are coming to Toronto every day, every month, every year. They need a place to live, they need a place to sleep, they need school, they need food, they need to do stuff, they got jobs, they're consuming, they're working, they're living. So in order to benefit from that, you got to tap into that stream, into that stream of action, into the stream of business. And one of the ways to do it is to buy real estate. Now, I love real estate because... It's a simple investment. You make it 20% and then just sit on it. Manage it well, get a great unit, get a great floor plan. And that's what I'm here for, to help you get the best floor plans possible, the best unit possible, the best price possible. And of course, to give you first access to all these projects I'm talking about. And once you do that, you can claim your stake. You can see it's in the center of this giant block. You're in the center of this giant block, okay? Now, a lot of people say close to the subway, close here, close there. The subway is great. But frankly, it serves so many people, and the subway is already at capacity. The city is going to grow beyond the subway because we only have the two subway lines, unfortunately. The city is going to grow beyond the subway, and con con concepts and how pe people think about the city is going to change. It always changes as the city grows and becomes more dense, okay, and there's more people. 
how we think of urban living has to change. Gallery of Mall is here to create. And I'll show you some, uh, I'll show you some scans here and some pictures. Uh, what they're doing here, and this is at uh, at uh, Urban Toronto, by the way. Uh, reload this page to get to the first uh, picture. But what you can see here, this is a master plan community, and in master plan community. What it does, it brings together people and things, buildings, places, all together to create a community. And when you create a community, you create life. When you create life, you create value. Okay, so these are various phases. You see it goes all the way to 2028. So they're, they're 10 years in the future here. So this guy's 2030. These guys are planning 10 years in the future. Okay, when you are 10 years in the future, and you can see some of the renders and, and the... Uh, with the architects were kind of dreaming, dreaming around. There's a big park, there's community, there's community center that exists already, probably gonna get rebuilt. And basically they're looking at very interesting designs and nice architecture to make this place, you know, like the, the future is in vertical housing, okay? So how can we make it interesting? How can we make it fun? How can we make it functional? How can we make sure that each of these communities have everything we need everything we need in order to um, to live there. So, let's get back online here. All right, <laughs> that's a disturbance today. It's okay, we'll just keep moving. So, uh, what I was talking about is how cities are progressing and growing and how the thinking of cities is changing and the thinking of real estate needs to change too now there's a lot of people uh, especially those who grew up here you know i'm not one of them obviously um, that are having really major major problems with understanding how we evolve and that's why people that come from other countries sometimes you know they, they see the opportunities because they're, they're they're from the outside okay so that's that's your advantage if you come from the outside now no one's from canada obviously unless you know you've been here for thousands of years but it's easy to forget your, your roots uh, once once you're here for a bit longer. So, but this is important because you can also make money from this, okay? From this understanding. If you understand, this is the site for Galleria, by the way, it's called galleriaonthepark.com. It doesn't give a lot of information. It's more like a, like a funny stuff, all these people having a great time. Uh, but there are some hints here. They're gonna release more, you know, we're gonna release this, uh, September 10th or so. Uh, condos on the park, creativity, work, more than retail. So there's living, there's working, and, and there's shopping, and there's, there's community center, there's life, there's everything you need here to live. And that's, that's really what's important, okay? That's what we're talking about. These master plan communities that I've been talking about for a long time. Here's a render um, of what it would look like facing one of the park or parquets that are being created. So the buildings are staggered, they have all kinds of architecture, they're really mixed up. It's not like a city place where everything looks the same, but it's, it's interesting. It's kind of fun to look at. And there's a lot of units here and they're all going to be a little different, so it, it provides a lot of options for people to live, to buy, to rent, to invest. You know, I really like it. I think it, it's, it's a very good idea here and, and I can't wait to see what they're going to do. Now I know some of the people on the project. Uh, one of the main engineers on the project is my classmate from Ivy. Amazing people, you know, the best of the best that Canada can can offer are on this project. I have really high hopes of the project. I think this project is going to be very, very successful. Not only in terms of you're going to make a lot of money here. Yes, you will. But also in terms of, you know, it's going to be a fun place to live. It's going to be a great place to live. And that's the point. When you love where you are and when you love uh, where you live, then obviously it's better. And then if you love it, other people love it too. And if other people love it too, the prices will go up. Okay, so that's that's how you that that's how you connect between the quality of the place that you get and the rents or or the resale price that 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 you'll achieve. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in here. Okay. So here's the pit. So that's Bloor down here. The Stuffing Grove Park. That is the Dufferin Mall with the Walmart in here. And now we're just going to go uh, one large city block up just before uh, the trucks there. And here we are. Okay. So this is what you have now. That's the little park. You see it's kind of run down. They'll be renewed. All this area here is going to get 
redone with all these condo buildings. They're not too high, which is kind of nice. And a community center and shopping and everything you need, a master plan community. So remember, there are three of those right now in the construction and in sales. The well by Tridale, the most expensive one, across town, Aspen Ridge, 401, and DVP there, which is slightly cheaper. And this one, regarding prices, I believe the prices here will let you know exactly on the 10th of September. Uh, but the prices here will probably be between 1000 to 1400 a foot. You know, large range because a, a, a large unit on the lower floor is obviously cheaper per dollar per foot, but a small unit on a high floor is much higher dollar per foot. And because this project is a 10 year project, you know, if you buy here first, you're probably saving 20, 30, 40, 50% over the price it's going to be in 10 years. You know, in 10 years, prices can easily double. So let's say you bought a unit here for $600,000, you put 150000 down, 125 down. That 600000 becomes, say, a million dollars, okay? So that's 400000 extra to you, but you only invested about, say, one twenty-five. So that's, you know, three and a half times, 3.2 times your investment, 320% increase because that's the actual money you invested the rest is not your money the tenant paid you for it right the tenant paid your mortgage your condo fees everything through the rent that's how we do it okay so galleria mall galleria on the park condos right here a fantastic investment opportunity in my opinion i'd like you to take a good look at it i'm going to be releasing more information on uh, urban realty toronto and also on yossikaplan.com which is this side here Okay, and I'm going to release more and more information here regarding, I think the VPN is blocking me here, so I'll just leave it for now. Uh, but we're going to leave, uh, leave more and more information about this and other projects as they come. Now, if you're looking to invest, please give me a shout. Um, the reason is, is because these, will, these are sold. People are buying these things, you know, they're not sitting on their hands. There's a reason why these projects are successful. People are buying them. I have a lot of people that I remember 10 years ago thinking what to buy. They're still thinking about it. In the meantime, price went up by way more than double. Okay, so that $400,000 opportunity, they've missed. Don't be that person. Just don't. Uh, some renders of Galleria Mall here from my website, from Urban Realty. You can see it's lovely. Uh, you know, this could be one of the best projects in Toronto. This could be, it's a south-facing park that I just showed you. This could be something totally different, never seen before. Look at this. And it's, I like that it's kind of mixed up, kind of like the MCD Mississauga, but much smaller. So shorter buildings, less units, more value per unit, okay? Supply and demand. Okay, so there you go. Look at this. It's pretty cool. That is very nice. Wouldn't you like to live here? Yeah, and there you go. So a couple of towers, large towers, and... Very, very nice, you know, the large towers on the north end, so blocking all the noise and everything, and on the south end is shorter. But it's very, very nice design. It's proper design, and of course, this building here, you can see all these buildings. There'll be some commercial, there'll be some residential, lots of residential. Um, I'm sure you'll find everything you need here to live comfortably. Of course, surrounded by a lot of old little rickety houses <laughs> and everything else that is in the area. All right. This is Yossi Kaplan. Today we've reviewed the pre, 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 pre launch for Galleria Mall, Galleria on the Park Condos by Free Development and Ella in Canada. If you want more information about this or if you want to invest in this project, give me a shout. In about 10 days' time from today, you know, if you're watching this in September or onwards, I have the prices that I can send you. And uh, let's make some money, let's enjoy some real estate. Thank you very much. That's it.